Chapter 10, The Opulence of the Absolute. The Supreme Lord said, My dear friend, mighty armed Arjun, listen again to my supreme word, which I shall impart to you for your benefit, and which will give you great joy. Neither the hosts of demigods nor the great sages know my origin, for in every respect, I am the source of the demigods and the sages. He who knows me as the unborn, as the beginningless, as the supreme Lord of all the worlds, he, undiluted among men, is freed from all sins. Intelligence, knowledge, freedom from doubt and delusion, forgiveness, truthfulness, self-control and calmness, pleasure and pain, birth, death, fear, fearlessness, non-violence, equanimity, satisfaction, austerity, charity, fame and infamy are created by me alone. The seven great sages and before them the four other great sages and the Manus, progenitors of mankind, are born out of my mind, and all creatures in these planets descend from them. He who knows in truth this glory and power of mine engages in unalloyed devotional service. Of this there is no doubt. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who know this perfectly engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me, their lives are surrendered to me, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss, enlightening one another and conversing about me. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Out of compassion for them, I, dwelling in their hearts, destroy with the shining lamp of knowledge the darkness born of ignorance. Arjuna said, You are the supreme Brahman, the ultimate, the supreme abode and purifier the absolute truth, and the eternal divine person. You are the primal God, transcendental and original, and you are the unborn and all-pervading beauty. All the great sages such as Narada, Asita, Devala, and Vyas proclaim this of you, and now you yourself are declaring it to me. O Krishna, I totally accept as truth all that you have told me. Neither the gods nor demons, O Lord, know thy personality. Indeed, you alone know yourself by your own potencies, O origin of all. Lord of all beings, God of gods, O Supreme Person, Lord of the universe. Please tell me in detail of your divine powers by which you pervade all these worlds and abide in them. How should I meditate on you? In what various forms are you to be contemplated, O blessed Lord? Tell me again in detail, O Janardana, Krishna, of your mighty potencies and glories, for I never tire of hearing your ambrosial words. The blessed Lord said, Yes, I will tell you of my splendorous manifestations, but only of those which are prominent, O Arjun, for my opulence is limitless. I am the Self, O Gudakesha, seated in the hearts of all creatures. I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of all beings. Of the Adityas, I am Vishnu. Of lights, I am the radiant sun. I am Marichi of the Maruts, and among the stars, I am the moon. Of the Vedas, I am the Samaveda. Of the demigods, I am Indra. Of the senses, I am the mind. And in living beings, I am the living force, knowledge. Of all the Rudras, I am Lord Shiva. Of the Yakshas and Rakshashas, I am the Lord of Wealth, Kuvera. And of the Vasus, I am Fire, Agni. And of the mountains, I am Meru. Of priests, O Arjuna, know me to be the chief, Brihaspati, the Lord of Devotion. Of generals, I am Skanda, the Lord of War. And of bodies of water, I am the ocean. Of the great sages, I am Brigu. Of vibrations, I am the transcendental Om. Of sacrifices, I am the chanting of the holy names, Japa. And of immovable things, I am the Himalayas. Of all trees, I am the holy fig tree, and amongst sages and demigods, I am Narada. Of the singers of gods, Gandharvas, I am Chitra-ratha, and among perfected beings, I am the sage, Kapila. Of horses know me to be Uchai Shrava, who rose out of the ocean, born of the elixir of immortality. Of lordly elephants, I am Airavata, and among men, I am the monarch. Of weapons, I am the thunderbolt. Among cows, I am the Surabi, giver of abundant milk. Of procreators, I am Kandarpa, the god of love. And of serpents, I am Vasuki, the chief. Of celestial Naga snakes, I am Ananta. Of the aquatic deities, I am Varuna. Of departed ancestors, I am Aryama. And among the dispensers of law, I am Yama, the lord of death. Among the Daicha demons, I am the devoted Prahlad. Among subduers, I am Time. And among the beasts, I am the lion. Among birds, I am Garuda, the feathered carrier of Vishnu. Of purifiers, I am the wind. Of the wielders of weapons, I am Rama. Of fishes, I am the shark, and of flowing rivers, I am the Ganges. Of all creations, I am the beginning and the end, and also the middle, O Arjun. Of all sciences, I am the spiritual science of the self, and among logicians, I am the conclusive truth. Of letters, I am the letter A, 
and among compounds I am the dual word. I am also inexhaustible time, and of creators I am Brahma, whose manyfold faces turn everywhere. I am all devouring death, and I am the generator of all things yet to be. Among women I am fame, fortune, speech, memory, intelligence, faithfulness, and patience. Of hymns I am the Brihat Sama, sung to the Lord Indra, and of poetry I am the Gayatri verse, sung daily by Brahmanas. Of months I am November and December, and of seasons I am flower-bearing spring. I am also the gambling of cheats, and of the splendid I am the splendor. I am victory, I am adventure, and I am the strength of the strong. Of the descendants of Vrishni, I am Vasudev, and of the Pandavas, I am Arjun. Of the sages, I am Vyas, and among great thinkers, I am Ushana. Among punishments, I am the rod of chastisement, and of those who seek victory, I am morality. Of secret things, I am silence, and of the wise, I am wisdom. Furthermore, O Arjuna, I am the generating seed of all existence. There is no being, moving or unmoving, that can exist without me. O mighty conqueror of enemies, there is no end to my divine manifestations. What I have spoken to you is but a mere indication of my infinite opulences. Know that all beautiful, glorious, and mighty creations spring from but a spark of my splendor. But what need is there, Arjun, for all this detailed knowledge? With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support this entire universe. <laughs>